Hey there, Sam. Now, if you look at the Composer JSON file, there's an interesting field here called scripts. In a nutshell, Composer scripts are helper command shorthands that allow us to execute long commands by using Composer. We can run any command that we want. As you can see here, Laravel has already provided us a few scripts out of the box. I'll show you how it works. Let's create a dummy script. I'll call it playground, and the value will be an array of commands. Now, just for demonstration, I'll simply type in an ls command, which will just list all the directories in my current folder. And now, if we go to our terminal to run our playground script, I'll simply type in composer run script and our script name, which is playground. Hit enter, and we see our ls command got executed, and we see a list of files and directories. Now, if we want to run another command right after our ls command, we just need to pass in a second element to our array. For example, Let's say I want to echo some silly things right after the ls command, something like echo hey yeah yeah yeah, and back to our terminal, run composer run script again, and now we see our echo run right after the ls command. So composer will execute the scripts that we provided in the array one by one. So can you see the benefits of using the scripts? We can put in long and complex command inside a script and label them with an easy to remember shorthand so we can easily execute them next time. If you are a JavaScript developer, this works exactly like npm scripts. Okay, now let me show you a few quick scenarios on why this could benefit us in our project. Every time we want to run PHP unit, we first need to awkwardly locate the binary of PHP unit and then run it. Now, instead of doing that, what we can do is to wrap this command into a composer script. I'll call the script name test. And since we're only executing one command, we don't need an array this time. We'll just simply run the binary of PHP unit. Let's go back to our terminal and type in composer run script test. And it works. So the next time when we want to run our test, we don't need to locate the binary of our PHP unit anymore. Now here's another issue though. Sometimes we want to pass arguments to the underlying command in our script. For example, I would like to pass a filter flag to PHP unit. If I do that as it is now, it will not work. To resolve this, we need to pass in an additional double dash right after our script. After the additional double dash, we can pass in any arguments to the underlying command as usual. Let's hit enter, and the filter flag is now working. Another example, let's also create a helper script to run PHP unit watcher. I'll call the script name test colon watch, and the value is simply a path to the binary. And now let's go back to our terminal and run our script. Oops, I made a mistake. I forgot to add the watch option. Let's try again. And it's now working. Beautiful. So you can pretty much write anything you like for Composer script. In some of my past projects, I have added a script called deploy, which is a nice and simple way to deploy my app to the production server. The actual deployment script is very complicated, and I don't want to run the whole thing every time I want to deploy my app. So I just simply create a Composer script that will trigger the whole deployment process for me. All right, that's it. If you want to learn more about Composer Script, feel free to visit the documentation. Again, the link is in the description. Key takeaway for this lesson, Composer Scripts are handy shorthands that allow us to define and run complex commands. If we want to pass arguments to our scripts, we need to supply an additional double dash after the script name. That's it for this lesson, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.